was at Ma in uh, high school in 2004. Me and Hugo, uh, we met like nine years ago at the party that I organized. And it was the first one of the series ever. And me and Josef met like, I think like backstage or somewhere, Josef came up to me and was like, yeah, it was the best set ever. And yeah, it was love at first sight. <laughs> <laughs> So the song On and On itself started out as uh, we were in the studio and we had absolutely no idea what to make. We made like a loop out of mm. Olafur Arnott's uh, song and then we just used little tiny bits of it and then we laid a beat on it and it just kind of had this positive, ongoing and uplifting vibe. So I remember this one story when uh, we had the first super rough demo and Ago told us that he's gonna try Daniel with the vocals on the track and uh, they were in the studio and Ago was texting that oh my god it's gonna be fantastic we're creating magic here <laughs> and we're like all right all right maybe some videos or stuff and then he sends over a video like where Daniel is doing something <laughs> well that's that's sick man yeah uh, <laughs> I had known Ago before, uh, not known him personally, but heard of him, like he's this really great producer. So I was happy to meet up and I wanted him to hear all my songs that I'd written and <laughs> I was kind of like fanboying a little bit. He had this lyrics that On Will Go or something like that he had already written. And so we kind of like just grabbed onto that and started like reworking the uh, the lyrics and the, and the melodies a little bit. And uh, I remember really well this one moment when we looked at each other and we like knew that, holy crap, like this is a really good line. Daniel is not just a vocalist. We wrote the lyrics and the melodies with him. And then after that, we made a beat. And then we kind of like remixed our own song. We made a beat for it from scratch. I was surprised when, like a week later, the guys had worked on the track and like just completely changed it from what we had heard before, what we had worked on, and everything just kind of like came together and we were like, this is gonna work, yeah. We released a track called Made Me Feel. Uh, we uploaded it on our Facebook page and then I was kind of like scrolling who was liking the video and boom, I saw Billy Woodford, NCS founder. So basically we had a couple of tracks done by that time and we sent them over to Billy and uh, one of those tracks was On and On. From a country like Estonia to have so much talent in such a small population of people it's insane, it's, you know, it's wicked. We got some success and we started touring in Estonia and abroad. We were suddenly booked all over Europe. I remember we were playing in Amsterdam, London, Montenegro, Czech Republic, Latvia, Lithuania, Finland, yeah, a lot of places. The on and on track had like, I don't know, five million views or something like that. And then suddenly, uh, all of my friends were like uh, having a vacation abroad. They started sending videos like at random places in Bali or in Australia. The song was everywhere in the world. And then the numbers just started growing, which was mental. When it hit 100 million views, then, then it was like, we were like, just like, dude, would you have ever guessed to have made something that could have gotten like 100 million views? So that was, that was pretty mind blowing, yeah. On and On has been viewed uh, over 320 million times on NTS's YouTube, um, and it's been used in around 4.8 million videos, and which means that in whatever format, in whatever video format, the song has been used or heard or seen over like 7.2 billion times, which is almost the entire population of the world, which is pretty nuts. I 
could have never imagined like uh, anything like this happening to the track. I mean, just the amount of the amount of encouragement, the amount of feedback we've gotten to this track, just what it means to people. You know, like hearing people's stories of how they connected with this song, what it means to them that they've literally listening to it like every single day. Shout out to Cartoon for producing one of the best songs on NCS and Daniel Levi for being a phenomenal vocalist. Thank you Cartoon and Daniel Levi for making such an incredible song. Keep it up, I want to hear more. You guys are awesome. This track really motivates me and helps me to push my limits. Honestly, it's such an incredible song. This song is amazing. On and on is one of my favorite tracks all ever, man. It really brings out kind of more inspiration for me. Whenever I run out of inspiration, I go back to that song. We were sitting in a studio and uh, randomly listening to the track and Hugo was like, uh, maybe we should make a Spanish version of it. And then we just watched each other and we're like, whoa, it's a great idea. All of like South America and these Spanish speaking countries, they are like super tuned in. They're super excited about the track. They comment uh, under the videos and everything. And for us, it's a way of just kind of giving back to that part of our community. Just to say, look, you connected with this song in the English way, now connect with it in your mother tongue. with some really some cool people who helped me work on the pronunciation and would send me like some clips hey nope you need to pronounce that word a little bit better you need to do this like more like the sound like over here so I got a lot of like guidance in that sense uh, but it wasn't super easy <laughs> I don't know if we get back together but um, you never know you never know yeah thank you Carbon Daniel Production from you guys, uh, Cartoon, and the vocals from Daniel. Keep doing what you're doing. Thanks for the pretty amazing songs. So, keep doing what you're doing. Thanks, everybody, for uh, all of your views and uh, your support. We appreciate it. Thank love you, you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. I love you. Bye. Big love. Peace out, Peterson. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Me and Josep met in uh, high school in 2004. Me and Hugo, uh, we met like nine years ago at the party that I organized. And it was the first one of the series ever. And me and Josep met like, I think like backstage or somewhere. Josep came up to me and was like, yeah, it was the best set ever. And yeah, it was love at first sight. <laughs> <laughs> So the song on and on itself started out as uh, we were in the studio and we had absolutely no idea what to make. We made like a loop out of Olaf or Arnold's uh, song and then we just used little tiny bits of it and then we laid a beat on it and it just kind of had this positive ongoing and uplifting vibe. So I remember this one story when uh, we had the first super rough demo and Ago told us that he's gonna try Daniel with the vocals on the track and uh, they were in the studio and Ago was texting that oh my god it's gonna be fantastic we're creating magic here yeah. and we're like all right all right maybe some videos or stuff and then he sends over a video like where Daniel is doing something <laughs> Well, that's, that's sick, man. Yeah. Uh, <laughs>